All right, so what we're going to look at today is actually we're going to do a little bit of a review of this little thing right here, which if it's not a notebook, the only thing that could possibly be is a tablet. Rather than being an Android tablet, this is actually a Windows tablet, and it's a 7-inch Windows tablet made by Insignia, which is the generic brand at Best Buy. And so is the keyboard. It's, I believe it was meant for this kind of tablet, but though it does fit, it has some issues. First of all, it has the home button. This is for Android. Second of all, you can see that these little corners right here, the USB port is right here. Which means I kind of got to do it like that. Which, yeah, there's a crack in there. And that was because I'd have to have to move it to the side and then expand the crack. But then when I did that, it would cover the buttons. So, this case doesn't fit this thing exactly, even when it's normal. As you can see, it's still covers the volume button a little bit but it does fit the thing and the keyboard does sync up with it the little flat most to the back and basically we can get ourselves a a miniature computer with all this windows tablet keyboard you can get a bluetooth mouse working with this as well here's a magic mouse I actually got this magic mouse for two dollars so if you get a bluetooth mouse this can do usb otg but you want to charge it at the same time you kind of got to go with this setup uh, how i would charge it is i would use this is a pretty big charger it does two amps which is really what you need for a tablet even though this is a pretty small tablet basically what i use this for is i got this tablet it was actually for my 15th birthday, actually, so this was a while ago for a Windows tablet. And its specifications are pretty lacking to, I guess, they go well with what this thing is. It has 16 gigabytes of storage, it has a micro SD port with nothing in it, and, um micro HDMI USB it does if you wanted to you connect connect to TV there's a headphone port here it's also blocked by the bracket as well on the other side there's nothing there's a sleep wake button etc on the keyboard it's just on and off Bluetooth sync that kind of stuff so what I think we're going to do is we're going to turn this on and connect everything together. So I actually had to cut the video because this thing was not charged. But I am back and it is charged. It's not even plugged in at this moment. I'm probably going to plug it back in again. But of all things, it's opened up to pictures of Jimmy Neutron on the internet. And I'm not going to do so let's connect to this Wi-Fi and use the one that's here. We'll be working at it again. So obviously this tablet has Windows 10. It was an originally a Windows 8 tablet, but it did get the free upgrade while they had those. It is in the desktop mode. Just so I can use it as a desktop, it just has the normal start menu. And we can there's a calculator there. Okay, so here it is. It as far as programming so this is this is a full PC, but it doesn't have that much on it. You do have your LibreOffice. Yes, you have LibreOffice here. Uh, not much else. And Here's a magic mouse, which we can connect to this, and it should discover it with Bluetooth. The keyboard is also connected with Bluetooth. This computer does, does have USB on the go connector, 
but I would like to have it plugged in more often so that's not really what I would choose to do so let's just try to get our mouse connected and I guess to do that we would have to go through the whole settings this is Windows <coughs> Windows 10 as opposed to older Windows operating system it is very I guess it has tablets in mind and we can just go down to Bluetooth and okay so now we have our mouse connected and it does work the screen is hard to see so we can just go through this tablet so it is a full computer let's look at the settings and see what this computer has for its hardware just look about it so we do have Windows 10 home and it is an Intel Atom CPU at 1.3 gigahertz it lists it twice so I guess it means that it is dual core it has one gigabyte of memory a 32-bit operating system 64-bit processor it only has one gigabyte of RAM and you're not upgrading it so there wouldn't be much point to that and this is all that it is one thing that I want to do is this computer does have an SD card port and I do have an SD card so this right here is a 64 gigabyte SD card that used to be in a camera but the camera broke so I might as well just put it in here while I'm giving this thing some attention as you can see it has a micro SD card port and it will just slide into the port at whatever angle you put it at really these are kind of hard to handle okay so it should be installed okay so let's look at how this thing interprets it so file explorer I have very few files on this just some school projects <laughs> and here, let's look through some of the files. So we have to go the way to look at the removable drive. They should have some files on it. Okay, so I guess it doesn't want to load into the DSD card. Maybe that's why the camera's broken. So here it is. A little computer there this is this is pretty obsolete now I mean you can get like an actual real tablet that can do stuff and of course this was cheap when it was made just a uh, uh, knockoff of the surface pro eight inches across but it is an interesting thing to have I can take it to places and it's pretty small and that's what it is so let's turn this off so the battery doesn't die again of course turning this off is a multi-step process you have to turn off the mouse and you have to turn off the keyboard and then the computer will turn itself off okay, if you want to but that was that and one thing you can do with this computer is it is powered by USB so you can get USB chargers as well as car chargers such as this one right here that I have just a USB cable going to the car charger 
and this can for example power with solar panels I just installed an adapter to do that. So if I needed to power a computer with solar panels it would be that one rather than one of my larger options. 